Let's review the structures you can see in this sagittal view of a sheep brain. This is the spinal cord. This is the medulla oblongata. This is the pons. This is a cerebral peduncle. Mammillary body. Optic chiasma. Thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, cerebral aqueduct, fourth ventricle, cerebellum, arbor vitae, corpus callosum, choroid plexus, found in the lateral ventricle. Now I'd like to show you a new way to look at this information, a way to help you remember which structure is next to which structure. If we start at the posterior edge of the cerebellum, that's where you'll find the medulla oblongata. By the time you get to the anterior edge of the cerebellum, you're looking at the pons. The cerebral peduncle, cerebral aqueduct, corpora quadrigemina form the narrowest part of the brain stem. These three structures are stacked one on top of the other. Cerebral peduncle, Cerebral aqueduct, corpora quadrigemina. You'll find the pineal gland between the thalamus and the corpora quadrigemina. The pineal gland is also located at the posterior end, the caudal end of the corpus callosum. Hopefully you can see in this video, if you look at three structures, Thalamus, mammillary body, optic chiasma, they form a triangle. In the center of that triangle, the tissue is a little bit darker brown. That's the hypothalamus. Again, the corpus callosum is above the lateral ventricle. The fluids, cerebrospinal fluids in the lateral ventricle drain from the lateral ventricle into the third ventricle. Fluids in the third ventricle drain posteriorly through the cerebral aqueduct into the fourth ventricle. From the fourth ventricle, these fluids exit the ventricular system of the brain and surround the brain as well as passing down the central canal of the spinal cord.